necessary part of working from it and going forward. And so, Dr. Stockton. And I just want to clarify one other thing. It you know it says preliminary before you even say staff recommendations, but these are not even our staff recommendations. I mean, we haven't. I keep you know, and and, and I will work very hard to make sure that we we get the words right on this message. It is this is information brought forward based on demographics and the information that our staff has at this time. We haven't finished utilizing the entire facility master plan framework to be able to actually craft any kind of recommendation. This is just preliminary thinking based on those raw demographic numbers and information. So even with that, I wouldn't say that these are hard recommendations. It's probably what's fair to say is preliminary thinking based on our demographic data. And, um, and it's really going to be the CBAC that's going to determine based on what we, you know, the information that we pull together as we finish the process that will actually shape a recommendation and a scope of work for a bond. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I'm going to say, because the way I interpreted what y'all were doing was you were sort of the first step in the process and you were given some preliminary rough information based on everything we knew. You do applied due diligence to make sure that it made sense, there wasn't anything completely unreasonable. Then you applied your five questions in the decision framework trying to get to does it make sense to take the second step, which is to create a bond advisory committee? Is there sufficient capital, unmet capital needs? Do we have capacity? Do we have a, you know, and I, I heard you say basically yes, that I think your belief is that we should take the next step, but not that we've crafted and this is the, ba this will necessarily translate to the actual bond program that we might eventually take to the public. Somebody else, another committee will actually help put, craft that with a lot of other input and a refinement of the data and taking into consideration a number of things like Mr. Torres and Ms. Barksdale talked about, which is, you know, what is the 21st century learning environment we need to have for our kids? How do we take into consideration the fine arts strategy and athletic and physical fitness strategy and all those things that we need to have? But you just said basically it's, we, we there's does seem, the way I'm interpreting it, is there's a sufficient basis to move to the second step, which is the creation of a bond advisory committee. Would that be a fair? That's correct, Mr. President. Okay. Very well stated. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you guys very much. I do think that, that it does make sense. I, I'm looking forward to y'all's input through the superintendent, obviously, of the collateral issues. One of the challenges that we always face, right, is we're limited tax capacity in our community. And one thing we find is the bang for the buck from bond dollars is obviously much more substantial than the O&M impact. We looked at some numbers today about what five cents gets us or four or five cents gets us on an O&M basis and what four or five cents gets us on a bond program is, is tremendously uh, more. And so it's different, but to the taxpayer, it's the increase in their tax base and when you look at the impact of the district. So to the extent you look at that and then we have to look at the timing of those things, but it, it is, you know, it's not an either or strategy. We've got to figure out a way to deal with the operating uh, run rate of our business, but but the capital impact makes a huge difference, particularly for our students. Again, you know, what's the world in which they need to learn in? And it's probably different than what we grew up in when the buildings still look like what I grew up in. Yeah. So thank you all very much for your you. work. Um, we appreciate the effort. I need to get one more meeting. Again, thanks thanks for, for getting us to this next step. Uh, and we'll look forward if you can, I'm sure there'll be a sign up list at the end of the committee meeting to join the CBAC and we certainly would encourage any and all members. To, to, partic audience. to participate. I think Dick is ready to sign off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good job of taking care of Y'all did great. Okay, so board, it is 9.38. I don't have anything else on the agenda, so I'm going to call this adjourned. <laughs>